Hey guys, Chris from QuickBooks here with another quick update. Today's update will be going through a new feature recently released to QuickBooks Online, the ability to be able to import your invoice transactions. Now naturally there are two key reasons as to why you may want to do this. Either A, you're a new customer who's looking to import historical data from another source, or B, uh, you're an existing customer who's currently using a third party app such as a point of sale that doesn't integrate with QuickBooks Online. You can quickly export those transactions into CSV and then import them back into QuickBooks Online. So without further ado, let's check out this feature. First things first is you've got to click on that gear icon and select import data. You're going to see a new option here for invoices. Let's go ahead and click on that. Uh, so if you're a new customer, I really recommend you checking out the preview first of all. And this will give you an idea of you know what information can be important and what it looks like to create an invoice in QuickBooks Online. So anything that has sort of a red text above it is something that we can import. And anything with an asterisk is a mandatory field as part of the import process. So be sure to check that out. Um, additionally, it's always worthwhile checking out the import guide if this is a, your first time importing data into QuickBooks Online. Um, you know, it gives you a quick overview of the process and any of the limitations. So a couple of limitations to call out is um, if you're importing uh, into QuickBooks Online and you use categories, make sure you use the format, basically the category name and then the colon and then the item name. Um, this will make sure that the process is done successfully. If you don't add that, it, it'll throw up an error. So you see here, the example is jewelry colon earrings. Um, just something quickly to call out. Uh, so we're gonna go through the process a little bit further here. Um, again, you can download an example, and what this will show you is basically, you know, give you a template you can use, and you can just update it with your own information. So again, anything with an asterisk is something that is mandatory. Anything that doesn't have an asterisk, um, you don't need to have in there. What's really cool is, depending on your settings, we'll provide you with a different template. So if you don't have GST turned on, um, we won't provide you with the, the GST sort of you know column. Additionally, if you don't have multi-currency turned on, we won't show you that currency column. So there we go. So we're gonna go back into QuickBooks Online now. Is um, What you wanna do here is, is click on Browse, and then you wanna select your template. There we go, so that's one I've already prepared a little bit earlier. Um, Next things next is, and we sort of give you the flexibility here. So um, if you have contacts in this Excel file that don't currently exist in QuickBooks Online, you can choose to sort of tick this box and we will create those customers for you. Um, additionally, if you're using items or services um, in the Excel file that aren't in QuickBooks Online, you can check that box and we will create those items and services as part of the import process. So we're gonna click on next. And the next step is where we start to map the data. And you see here that it's, it's kind of correctly already mapped all the item fields because we didn't change any of the header labels. Um, but we do need to confirm, you know, the date format that we're using in this file, as well as the, the taxable amount, whether it's exclusive or inclusive of GST. So we're going to quickly check those and then click on next. Next up is making sure that the tax codes are mapped correctly. You can see here GST is already mapped correctly, but GST free hasn't. And that's likely because there's a lowercase f versus an uppercase f. But that's really quick to do. We're going to map those codes and we're going to hit on next. So next up, say, hey, we're good to go. We're going to import four invoices today. So I'm going to click on start import. There we go. And we'll load through. Naturally, if you're importing a lot of invoices, this may take a little bit more time. But you see only four. It was really, really quick. Um, so we're going to click on invoices and what it should do is it's going to drop us into the invoice page and we see here you know we've got our sort of um, invoices all listed here um, and they've been imported successfully so that's really awesome to see and you can see here that we've got hey here's the QBO ones that we imported today um, they're there and available you can click in um, you can see these are overdue because you know they were dated back for last year um, but yeah there you go so that is the feature in its entirety um, if you have any questions be sure to leave them down in the comment section down below and I'll see you next time for our next quick update.